hello there um welcome um aquarians aquarians all right aquarians let's look at your reading let's see what's coming up please go back and listen to um the general reading it's very important you aquarians are in the third week so go back and look at the general reading okay aquarians so aquarians this is the month of may it is the month of the air energy so this is going to be good um for you okay you are sitting in your month so that is um really really good so that is a positive positive energies um for you aquarian all right so let's see what's uh, coming up because this month uh, aquarians is going to be really a serious month where a lot of uh, secrecy is uh, going to be coming out all right so let's see what we have we have uh, the energy of light is going to be shedding on some sort of a situation information is going to be coming out a lot of you could be showing up some sort of a in uh, um, situation that was going on that a lot of people were not aware of this is an emotional energy so be aware of this this emotional energy is going to be affecting a whole lot of people a whole lot of people are going to be finding out something that was kept in the dark truths are going to be coming out and a lot of people are going to be recognizing and uh, seeing that there was a whole lot of secrets uh, um, that could have been kept from you in the second week we have the energy of the sun a really successful week whatever is happening and transpiring this is a positive week for you Aquarians this is one of your best week the second week and we are going to be looking at what is transpiring because whatever the data information is that came out in the first week the second week you're going to be very 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 successful the third week we have the energy of the star this is a powerful week first week and second week is going to be good for you Aquarians congratulations this is going to be really bringing you in a state of wonderful experiences that is going to be transpiring um, the third week is going to be yours and the last week they are now recognizing um, that someone has used their powers in um, the wrong position and I see a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming this person whoever this person is and whatever this person have done it could be your boss your supervisor they are now recognizing that this person has used their powers in the wrong way so you have water you have sun uh and you have the star and you have fire so you have all four energies that is coming up aquarian so um be aware of uh, this so, so i love this so it's about light is going to be shedding and a lot of you are going to be very very successfully overcoming someone who has used their powers in the wrong way and this is going to be extremely extremely good because it's as if some of you have been dealing with someone who have been overgone in their powers using their powers in the wrong way and the truth is now coming out people are now recognizing what this person has done so what is coming out in the first week in the first week i see they're recognizing um something about uh, um a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person light has been shed as to what this person have done this person is coming up as a man whoever this man is and whatever this man has done light has been shed people are now recognizing what this young person have done this person is no older than 50 so this person is between the ages of 19 and 50 and they now recognize what this man have done so whoever this man is uh, some of you it could be your partner some of you could be a brother you are going to be finding out so they recognize um that a uh a taurus virgo or capricorn man and a young pisces cancer scorpion person have worked together and collaborate in order to create a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue and people are now recognizing what these people have done and how these people have created a whole lot of issues and problems um these two people are between the ages of 19 and 50 and they have created a whole lot of problems and issue together light as shed 
and information is going to be coming out that these two people have worked and collaborated together. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, who are these people? Are they your sisters and brother? Are they your partners? Are they people, um, um, uh, colleagues? Are they um, people who work together? Well, whoever these people are and whatever is at transpiring, people are going to be recognizing um, what they have done and how they have collaborated in order to create a, a whole lot of problems and issue. Then we are looking at the second week. The second week, a lot of you Aquarians is going to be successful over a um, Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. Whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person is, this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person is a young woman between the ages of 19 and 50. And whoever this young woman is, they're going to be recognizing that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man and this young woman have collaborated in doing something, but you Aries are going to be showing them up or you Aquarians are going to be showing them up and people are going to be recognizing what these two people have done. Then um, we recognize um, a situation where they're going to be recognizing that these three people have tried to collaborate and take a lot of money. They're going to be recognizing that a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion young woman have took a lot of money and has collaborated um, with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and a young Aries D or Sagittarian person and has took a lot of money. Light is shedding and I see um, you are going to be successfully overcoming the situation. They recognize that a Pisces Cancer Scorpion young lady have uh, worked together with three other people to take a whole lot of money. Um, you are also going to be successful over... Um, the Queen of Cups, whoever this Queen of Cups is, could be and could have worked with a young lady. And here is the or Sagittarian and the Knight of uh, um, Disc. And the Knight of this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe this is the mother of these people. Okay, so this could be their mother, but I see whatever is transpiring. A lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming um, these people. Then we see the energy of influence, the Eight of Swords. They are now recognizing and seeing the connection between these people and what these people have created and how these people have really created a really dishonest uh, situation. This, this situation is so dishonest. People are now recognizing the dishonesty of a young Aries Leo or a fire sign person and what this person have done and how this person have gotten a whole lot of money. And it could be um, that the tax company or is recognizing the foul play and how this person have created their wealth by stealing from other people. And they're going to be having these all these three people now, the prince of this, the prince of this, they're going to be recognizing that a manager, a manager or your father, this is the energy of someone in um, a powerful position, whoever this person is that is in a powerful position, there is some sort of an information that they're going to be recognizing that this person, some of you, your boss could have been a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion, and they're going to be recognizing that your boss um, need to pay you a whole lot of money for what uh, um, this uh, what she has done. Um, this is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. They're going to be recognizing what this lady has done. Then we see the seven of uh, the eight of swords again. So we have the seven of swords and the eight of swords. Um, this is the eight of wands. Uh, swiftness, the energy of the eight of wands, so number 88. Swiftness, the energy of the eight of wands, number 88. So you have 88. 88 is going to be your number energy of this month. And 88 is about infinity, um, wisdom, abundancy. But it's something that has happened in the past that is going to be coming back in the future. That is going to be showing up a whole lot of imbalances that was transpiring with a group of people. So a lot of you are going to be having to intend to with a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person and a uh, older woman, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person that have really created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue.
so um let's look at your reading so what we see is that uh, some of you are dealing with a pisces cancer scorpion person now whoever the Pisces cancer scorpion person is is connected with a taurus uh, a taurus a young taurus virgo a capricorn young man and a young aries leo or a sagittarian and i see that whoever this lady is there is some sort of a money connection is this her family or is this people or she could have paid them money to do something and now they're going to people are going to be showing them up for what they are so whoever these people are and whatever is transpiring we have to recognize this uh, young um taurus virgo um taurus virgo capricorn man and this young Aries the or fire sign person together with this um uh, Pisces cancer or scorpion person who could have been their mother or their aunt or this woman could have paid them to do something and it's going to be coming out because this is like a manager whoever this woman is is like a manager they are now going to be recognizing that a young Pisces cancer or scorpion have gotten a whole lot of money that was not for them they've gotten a whole lot of money that was not for them and people are going to be recognizing that these three people um this young Taurus Virgo a Capricorn man and uh, the Aries Leo fire sign person along with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person I've got money that was not theirs so here is the energy of the eight of swords where truth is going to be coming out and the energy of eight of ones that a lot of information and a lot of truth is going to be coming out and they are now going to be recognizing um what these people have done so um a lot of you are going to be contenting with a um with a uh pisces um with a aries or fire sign person some of you could be your sisters or brother and your mother that is a pisces cancer or scorpion person now what i'm seeing is that light is now being shed in that uh, uh young aries or sagittarian uh, um uh person uh together with their mother and people are now going to be finding out that the mother for this uh, um young leo is a pisces cancer is not a pisces cancer or scorpion person this person has been lying and tried to confiscate a lot of money um and it was not there okay and i see that people are now going to be recognizing the really disturbingness of a young cancer person and how this young cancer person have uh, took money on the false pretend and they're going to be recognizing it so um, what we're seeing here is that light is going to be shedding about um, two people that was working together. A Taurus, we a Capricorn man and a young uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpion person. It's not showing up who they are and how they work together. Light is also going to be shedding on a young uh, a young Aries the or fire sign person and the lies and deceptiveness of this person and how this person have created a whole lot of problems a whole lot of issue um for a lot of people and tried to and to get away and steal a lot of money and working with a young Pisces cancer scorpion person it's all coming out people are now recognizing how deceptive a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person is so then in the second week light is going to be shedding and they're going to be recognizing that uh, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is connected uh, um, with a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman okay whoever this young man is uh, is connected with um this uh is really connected with this older cancer woman and they're also a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming um this uh, uh, young aries the or sagittarian person who tries to get some money on the false pretend uh, pretending to be uh, someone else in order to get some money and they're going to be holding on on this person because they recognize the lies uh, and the deceptiveness in the first week about this person and this person trying um to get some money that was not theirs okay then in the third week the energy of the star and you're going to be successfully overcoming two persons a taurus virgo uh, a pisces cancer scorpion person and a young these are two young ladies and you're going to be successfully overcoming these two young ladies because people recognize the lies and deceptiveness and how they have gotten a lot of money 
um, and created some sort of a way in to receive a lot of money. And people are now going to be recognizing the dishonesty of uh, these two people. One is a Tau is a Aries or a Sagittarian, and the other one is a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. So I see people in power is going to be recognizing um that this young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person have been and their manager is going to be recognizing what they have played and how they have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue and their manager is now going to be recognizing the foul play um so a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming a pisces cancer a scorpion woman and the deceptive play um, it's as if the spicy skin or scorpion woman was supposed to be um, delivering some money to you. And what this person have done was to create a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue. And people are now recognizing um, who this person is and what this person have done. So people now recognize the lies and deceptiveness of a older Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman along with a young Aries Leo Sagittarian and how disturbing these people are and the lies and deceptiveness of these people and what they have done. In the last week, I see that uh, um, a lot of you, if you're manager or supervisor was a Pisces cancer or scorpion person this person have to pay you a lot of money okay um people in authority is going to be making sure that this lady pays you a lot of money because they recognize that this person have created a whole lot of imbalance a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness and imbalance uh, um uh, uh, and created a whole lot of problems and they're going to be recognizing that this lady has used young people to um, access her problem and now they're recognizing that these um, two people a Pisces Cancer a Scorpion an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian you Aquarians are going to be successfully over them because they recognize the foul play so at the end of the game a whole lot of information is going to be coming out light is going to be shed on a whole lot of information that a lot of you weren't aware of that there was a group of people that was uh, um working um themselves and was creating a lot of criminal uh situation um in order to to receive some money and i see people in power is really going to be coming down on an older woman, this older woman could have been a manager or a supervisor to you and people in power is going to be coming down on this lady because they recognize what this lady has done and how this lady tried um, not to pay some of you. Um, and they're going to be really coming down on this lady because they now recognize uh, that this lady has gone too far with a situation and they're going to be really taking down this lady now and it's going to be um, firing and shutting down her business because they recognize that they gave this lady a chance and this lady still try to create a whole lot of problems. All right. So what should we know about... Um, a young um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn man and an Aries the or Sagittarian person that they try to get away with a lot of money. People are going to be recognizing who these people are and what these people have done and that they try to get away with a lot of money. But the truth came out and people recognize it. Um, they, they steal a lot of money. I see that they're going to be recognizing that um, these people are mentally unstable. So this is the energy of sickness. They're going to be recognizing how sick three people are. Okay. And it is a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarian, a young lady, and a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion. They're going to be recognizing how sick and disturbing they are and how they love money. They're very sick, very disturbed, and how um, they love money, the love of money. Um, that is going to be making them uh, get caught up in a lot of situation. I see, as I said, and I did say it, uh, um, that uh, a hand is going to be coming in um, for a 
uh, Pisces cancer scorpion woman whoever this woman is it could have been your boss or your mother this person must pay you some money it could be your aunt a family member and this person tried to create some sort of an issue in order not to create not to pay you the money and I see an end is coming up for this woman they're going to be firing this woman they're going to be shutting down this woman business they are going to be making sure that this lady and her son or this Aries Leo or fire sign person never travel again because of what um, they have um, created and because of the problems and what they have created they're going to be making sure that this woman they're going to be shutting down things that this lady can't travel then we see desperation for this lady because they caught this lady they caught a Pisces cancer scorpion woman and an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person that was trying to get away with a whole lot of money. They caught this person, desperation, and an end is coming up for this person. Um, could, together with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person and a, and a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman, they have caught this person. They recognize uh, the foul play that this lady and this young person did. An end is here for them, and I see a whole lot of desperation. Then we see um, a lot of you are going to be finding out that whoever this Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman is and was, um, you know, was hateful against you. It was your ex-boss and really um, become your worst enemy. But an end is here for her and her business and, a, and her um, a position. An end is here because people in power is coming down on her and is now recognizing the foul play of what this person have done. The last energy is that they recognize uh, that a lawyer, whoever um, this lawyer is or this high professional person, they recognize uh, the um, deceptiveness and how this uh, person have uh, gotten data and documentation on the false item and was paid to get data and and documentation they recognize this person is also um they recognize that this um person is in an eye professional and as you see whether this person is they now recognize the eight of swords they're now seeing the deceptiveness of this person and they're also seeing that this person have data and information that they shouldn't have had and people are now recognizing the foul play of what was happening and transpiring the really deceptive foul play and it's all because of money and an investigation was um, placed and because of this investigation that was placed so they are now finding out these people and the horrible things that these people have done to some of you Aquarians you Aquarians could be the one that could have been investigating the case so so what we see is that uh, your enemy tried to get away with not paying some sort of a money, okay? And it's a whole lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. And I see um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarian is now desperate because they recognize that this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person have created a whole lot of uh, disruption. So the center is that uh, um, they are going to be recognizing that an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person is your greatest enemy. And it can be a man or a woman for some of you. Uh, and a lot of you are going to be dealing with a man or a woman, Aries, Leo or Sagittarian um, person. And they're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness. And you're going to be recognizing that this was your worst enemy. An end is coming into this person and uh, they have to pay back a whole lot of money because they recognize that uh, this Aries, Leo or Sagittarian person together with a young uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man has created some sort of a false eye to, and you all are going to be successful over this person and you're going to be recognizing that this Aries Leo or Fire Sign person was your greatest, greatest enemy. Okay, and uh, um, the outcomes um, and um, an end is going to be coming in. Uh, so a lot of you, some of you had a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person that was collaborating with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person. These two people was your greatest enemy. An end is coming in for them. Desperation, they have to pay back a whole lot of money. Then we see this older Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman 
um, that work with a, with a, with, with, with a lawyer in order to, um, create some sort of an instability in your world. Again, they find out that this, um, Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman and her lawyer had lied and create a whole lot of deceptiveness. I see, um, that a, um, um, it's, it's as if people in authority is investigating these people and they're recognizing the lies and deceptiveness. I see that they recognize this, this Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman together with a lawyer, eye profession person, try to pull off something and they're going to be catching these people. So remember, um, managers, you can see that that managers in the last week, at our moment, was going to be coming down on the managers in the last week because people recognize they lied. All right. What is coming up? Uh, despondency. Uh, despondency, the energy of orange and despondency is here where we see that they recognize that an older woman was creating a whole lot of despondency. Whoever this older woman is, whatever that was transpiring, was creating a whole lot of despondency. So despondency is about information came out and how this older woman tried to get away um, by not doing something. And then we see you're going to be successful over a manager because they're going to be recognizing and receiving a whole lot of details about a manager or someone in power that was using their powers against a lot of you, okay? Wow. Ooh, la, la. And truth is going to be coming out. When the energy of despondency comes out, um, is that uh, truth is coming out. Service is here. So it is a situation with some sort of a service where a lot of you were dealing with a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man that was trying uh, to work together with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person to get a lot of money. Um, they are going to be recognized in the foul play of this uh, man, this man, they're definitely going to be recognizing that this man in service tried to create some sort of a foul play and they're now recognizing what this man has uh, been doing. So um, a lot of you could be dealing with a young Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man and an Aries, the or Sagittarian uh, woman and a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion woman that was collaborating and working together. This person, this man is from a bank financial institution and was trying to get some sort of a money to get to an Aries Leo or Sagittarian and they're going to be quite catching this man and recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of this man and that this man had created some sort of a fault company, fault organization and was collecting and uh, falsifying data. Mysticism, mysticism. They're going to be recognizing that a young um, can, Pisces Cancer or Scorpion they're going to be recognizing that a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion have been using witchcraft in order to get through and get through in life. They're going to be recognizing that this young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person have been using mysticism. Mysticism is witchcraft. Um, however, it comes up has been using that to get true life okay and that's how people are going to be recognizing the really destroyedness and disgustingness that this young uh pisces cancer scorpion person was using witchcraft in order to manipulate and get a lot of money and was ripping off a lot of people by getting into men's bed and using witchcraft to hold on to men and control men so that they would give them up everything they're going to be recognizing that a group of people especially um, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn um, a man, together with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, and this Aries, Leo, Sagittarian, they breed and live witchcraft and use witchcraft to manipulate things. And I see you, Aquarians, is going to be saying, no witchcraft, witchcraft or witchcraft, the shit is not going to be happening. <laughs> so um, congratulations to you, Aquarians, because... Trust me, Aquarians, you're going to be showing them. You're going to be saying witchcraft or no witchcraft. It's not happening on my book. I do love you guys. Please show your love by sharing these videos and uh, thumbs up, like, and share. Leave a message, share, share, share. If you want to see the extended of this reading, check it out below. Or you have to become a member if you're not yet a member. I do love you guys. Namaste.